Okay, well, on into the night, it should be quiet for us uh, once again. Now, temperatures not going to be quite as cool as the past couple of nights. Only expected to drop into the mid to upper 50s tomorrow. Another sunny and nice day for the most part. A few clouds and maybe even a few thunderstorms move in as we head on into the evening. But best rain chances are by tomorrow night. We'll, we'll get into all of that in just a bit. But here's a look back at yesterday. Our numbers on the cooler end of our normals. 72 for our high at 47 degrees for our low. Records back in the year of 2003, our high was at 91 and our record low back in the years of 1979 and 2006 at 38. Now, a look at today's highs. We did warm up a bit more. 84 in Iron Mountain, 79 in Marquette, while in the upper 70s in Munising and Manistique. Upper 70s here in Houghton and Antonagon topped off at 81. Winds right now southwest at 5 in Iron Mountain, 8 in Munising, 9 in Marquette, and at 8 in Escanaba. Winds will be anywhere between 5 to 10 throughout the remainder of the night, so not too much wind, but not, not going to completely calm for us either. A few passing clouds tonight, but generally clear. Tomorrow, scatter showers and thunderstorms will develop as we hit later on into the day, but it will be another warm one with highs in those 80s. And the cooler air, that starts to arrive after we get the system out of here as we go on into Sunday evening and on into the beginning of next work week. But that's not going to be before we see a few showers of thunderstorms, which a few of them could be on the stronger side. Let's first talk about what is happening right now. Area of low pressure moving out of the northern plains, providing more of those severe thunderstorms back into northern North Dakota, but tomorrow we'll watch for the thunderstorm activity to eventually develop for us as we head on into the evening. Tomorrow night, definitely expecting some of those stronger storms to be in place. We'll get into that in just a few graphics right here, but high pressure will help things to be very warm as we head on into our Saturday. And then behind all of this will be cooler air mass uh, arriving across the Great Lakes as we head on into Monday and Tuesday. But let's talk about the severe threat as we head on into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. The system will come in from the west. We'll see a slight chance. This is outlined in green as you go into southern portions of Wisconsin and then also for uh, eastern portions of the coverage area here. As you go a little farther to the west here into central and western UP, probably seeing more of a slight risk, which is not too high then, but uh, still nevertheless a bit better than marginal. So we'll be watching out for those chances between around 5 to 10 percent. And then the enhanced risk is just on the borderline getting closer to Ironwood. So that will be the sweet spot if anything is going to happen as we head on into tomorrow night. Something we'll definitely make sure to keep you updated on if anything does begin to flare up across across the region, but off towards the west, you can see Minneapolis also in that enhanced region as well. If you're going to be heading over that way, your future cast model mostly clear heading on into our night, noticing a few scattered showers of thunderstorms earlier on during tomorrow evening as the clouds move in, but it's tomorrow night as everything does finally find its way across the region and that will move through quiet us back down as we head on into Sunday evening before more clouds and maybe in a few light rain showers come in as we head on into our Monday. Tonight we'll drop down to 57 a clear and mild evening. Winds should be light for us heading on into Saturday, partly sunny and an isolated rain chance as we head later on into the evening. Winds picking up between 10 to 20 out of the south and that will help things to warm up for us. 85 in Florence at 84 in Ontonagon, middle 70s showing up in Escanaba and Manistique and at 79 in Munising. Our forecast here will start off right around those uh, lower 60s and then eventually make our way into the 80s as we head into the afternoon. A few clouds building throughout the day and then the showers and thunderstorms coming in by tomorrow night. Late rain tomorrow, early rain when we go into uh, Sunday. Highs in the lower 80s still there before really cooling off heading into Monday. Only a high of 59 degrees with a chance of those light showers, so it will be a gloomy and also a very cool one for us heading on into Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, high temperatures rebounding back into the 60s and eventually the 70s, and we'll keep more of the 70s in place as we head into next Thursday and Friday.